Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassalvo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So in this awesome tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize a coffee mug. Okay, a coffee mug with heat transfer vinyl. Yes, I said that right. Glitter heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones to make the ultimate coffee mug. Okay, so you can customize something like this. We've actually even done dishwasher tests where we put the mug in the dishwasher and we have, even have a video proving that where you can watch the entire cycle in the dishwasher with a coffee mug just like this. So what I'm going to use is a few different materials. I'm going to use my bling anything material. I'm going to use my Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl and then I'm also going to use a rhinestone transfer to create the ultimate multi-deck decal to make the ultimate coffee mug. So let's go ahead and head over to the software. I'm going to show you how to get all the color separations in the TRW Design Wizard. Let's get the heat transfer vinyl cut and then we'll get it pressed to the heat press to show you how easy it is. Okay, so now we're inside the software. We're in Corel Draw and the TRW Design Wizard. And what I need to do is I need to color separate this and get it ready to send to our cutter. So the rhinestone portion of it, we're going to cut with our Magic Flock template material. And we're going to need two different templates for two different colors. And then the heat transfer vinyl part of it, obviously two different colors as well. However, we do need to take a little bit of a different approach on this one. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on one of the stones and I'm going to come up here and select same size. So that selected all of my SS6 stones. So I can move this off to the side. Now, I'm going to create two different styles of templates on this one only because I want the heat transfer vinyl part of it to have registration marks, okay? That's going to make it a lot easier for us to line it up. So, watch what I can do here. I'm going to move these around and I'm going to go to the heat transfer vinyl part first. I'm going to do a vinyl overcut, so I'm going to hit shift and right click. And when you shift right click on it, see how it created my registration marks? Pretty awesome, isn't it? So now back to page one and my rhinestone portion of it, I'm going to do a stone two plus cut. So I click on that and there's my two templates for my rhinestone part of it. How easy is that? You can see the rhinestone templates have made them the exact same size so we can stack them on top of each other and create that two color design without needing any type of alignment systems. And then for the vinyl overcut, it created the same, but it put those registration marks. And the reason why we wanted those registration marks is because when we press these two colors, we want them to line up perfectly on the bling anything material because we're going to come back with the rhinestone transfer afterwards and it needs to line up perfectly. So if we were a little bit off on those two layers of the heat transfer vinyl part, which you normally don't need to worry about so much here, because we have to be so perfect, that's why we're using the registration mark. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and send this to our vinyl cutter here, get this cut up, and let's get this awesome mug made. All right, so here I'm cutting my neon pink glitter heat transfer vinyl, and I have a downforce of 12 with a speed of 25 on my Graph Tech CE 6040 vinyl cutter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start weeding my material now. And you can see my registration marks are just going to stay there perfectly for me. And then this is a very, very fine cut. So I just want to be careful when I'm peeling this up. But I know with my vinyl overcut feature that it's going to weed out pretty well for me. I just have all of my inside cavities that I need to get. And you can see the eye run on how easily that's weeding out there. Go ahead and pull against here, and this is looking pretty awesome right here. There we go. Now let's come back. Let's get all my inside cavities inside the O's, inside the L here. But you can see a lot of you that cut the glitter heat transfer vinyl, sometimes you have issues with small detail like this. But look how easy that small detail, even the little, little inside of that A right there, how nicely that weeded out right there. And that's strictly because of that vinyl overcut feature in our software. So we got the pink done. Let's go ahead and get the neon blue done now. All right, so now we're cutting our blue neon glitter heat transfer vinyl. And as you can see again, we have our speed set at 25, our force set at 12 here on our Graph Tech plotter. 
All right, so now it's time to weave the blue here. Same as the pink again, some pretty fine detail in some of this design. So we just want to be a little bit careful when we're pulling it up. See, I kind of like to work from the bottom to the top so I can see if any areas are trying to pull up at all. Everything looks good so far. And now we're getting into that fine detail here. But you can see the of. We'll go into here and that's looking good there. And let's make sure my L staying down there. That looks awesome there. There's the lots of. And now we got the script area right here at the top, which again shouldn't be much of an issue with our vinyl overcut feature. But without using that vinyl overcut feature in our software, there's probably zero chance of me being able to weed this. So that's a big advantage of the TRW Design Wizard software is that overcut feature. Because as you know, in this business, Time is money, and the longer it takes you to weed designs and cut designs, well, guess what? That's, that's money in this business. What's honestly the hardest part is just being able to see those real small cuts. So you can see love, lots of strong coffee. So let's go ahead and get this over to the heat press now with our rhinestone transfer. Okay, so we're over here at the heat press now. We have our material that we just cut and weeded. We have our neon pink and our neon blue. And then we have our bling anything material. So this is the material that we normally make rhinestone car decals on. However, now we found a way to do our heat transfer vinyl as well as the rhinestone. So I always want to do the shiny side. There's a dull side and a shiny side. I'm going to press to the shiny side. So doesn't really matter which color I do first because we have the registration marks. So I'm just going to drop this down right onto the shiny side of my bling anything material. I'm going to cover it up and I'm at 315 degrees and my first press is going to be about two to three seconds max here. So we just did that press. Let's go ahead and Peel off our carrier sheet there, and you can see we have our pink glitter down on the bling anything now. Now, because of the registration marks, it's going to be much easier to line this up. So I'm just going to line the blue directly on top of the pink there with our registration marks to make sure everything lines up perfectly. That looks wonderful there. So now you can see with my registration marks how much easier that was. Drop this down. And we're going to go about three to four seconds on this second press. Let's go ahead and pull this up here. And peel off our carrier there. Now, we don't need the registration marks anymore. Those are actually done. So what we can do is we can just grab a pair of scissors if we want and just trim off that area. That was just to get everything lined up perfectly. So we could trim around this and this could be what goes on our coffee mug right now if we wanted to, but we wanna take it to the next level and put the rhinestones on it as well. So because of those registration marks, this part should be much easier to line up. So what I'm gonna do is just drop my rhinestones directly on top here Looks like everything is lining up perfectly here. And that's basically because of that feature in our software where it created the registration marks to be able to do this. Now I can come back here, cover this up. Just make sure we're still good there, hasn't moved at all. And I'm gonna go down for about a full 10 seconds now, just like we would a rhinestone car decal, because we need to activate that hot fix glue on the rhinestones in order to adhere correctly. So we're gonna peel this off. Let's peel off our hot fix tape here. And all of our rhinestones are now gonna stay back. And we have our completed multi-deck rhinestone decal here. So now what I'm going to do is just trim around it with a pair of scissors. So now I just have a pair of scissors here and this material is so clear once I apply it to the coffee mug you're not really going to be able to see it all. So you don't need to cut it perfect here. I like to cut it somewhat close to the areas but not getting too close to where we're going to cut into our material at all. 
because like I said, once we apply this, it's basically going to disappear on the mug because it's so clear. And that's the nice thing about this bling anything material. Whenever you're making any type of rhinestone car decals or anything is how easy that is. So trimming around the edge here. Let's get around the C there. And we are good to go. So we now have our finished multi-decoration bling anything. Two colors of glitter heat transfer vinyl and two colors of our SS6 rhinestones. And now we're just going to apply it to this mug here. All right, so now to apply it to the mug, we just want to pull up the edge here. It's going to release from the decal. And you can see now I have my sticker, okay? So I'm going to do it as a right-hander in the mug facing this way. So we're going to put the decal on this side right here. All I'm going to do is get it lined up as good as I can. That looks pretty good there. I just want coffee going across the bottom of the mug right there. And that looks pretty nice there. Make sure this goes up near the top here. I don't want it to fold over at all. That looks good there. And that should be nice. So now once I have most of it on there, I'm just going to start pressing down in the different areas where the bling anything material is get out any creases or anything like that it's going to apply tightly to the mug right here and there we go check out how awesome that is right there we have ourselves a rhinestone and glitter heat transfer vinyl mug that has even been tested going through the dishwasher pretty amazing isn't it so if you like the design right here, I actually have this design on sale on the website right now, therhinestoneworld.com, for only $2. You can go get this design right here for only $2 to download. It'll be all color separated, ready to cut with your Magic Fly template material and cut with your glitter heat transfer vinyl to make this design in whatever color you want. So a $2 download special just for you watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the RhinestoneWorld.com. You guys all have a great day.